Princess Sophia. Happy birthday, Your Highness. Grazie, thank you. They tell me you are the best cook in all of Venice. You betcha she's the best, huh? Magnifico! I can't wait to try your spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs? See, si, that's all I ever eat. That's all you eat? Yes! Everything else is just... Blech. Okay. Spaghetti and meatballs it is. Oh, goody! I'll come back later for dinner. Huh? <laughs> Arrivederci! Goodbye! Goodbye. <sighs> What's the matter, Olive? I've got the spaghetti, but no meatballs. Ah! No meatballs! No worries, Olive. We'll just get some from the store. Right! Marcello's meatballs. Marcello? They're the best in Venice. Come on, you'll take my gondola. Cool. Andiamo, let's go. Okay, let's pick some tulips. There, we're good to go. Great, the festival's in the next village, so we can ride my bicycle there. <gasps> I love bike rides. Would you like to ride in the basket, Squidgy? Woohoo! I love riding in baskets. Here you go, Justin. Thanks, Olive. Ready, Squidgy? Oh, I'm ready to go, go, go! <laughs> wow, that's a huge wall. And that's a lot of water. That's the ocean, and this wall is called a dike. It keeps the water away from our tulips. Well, I thought tulips like water. Tulips need water to grow, but they don't like too much water. Oh, what happens when there's too much water? Then windmills turn and pump the water back into the ocean. Oh, I see. Cool. I almost forgot. The Wolf Chief's totem party. Let's check the box. We need to find the sea otter totem pole next. Oh, okay. She says it's just across the water and we can use that canoe. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Miss Bear. Bear. Bye. Uh. There's a totem pole. And that's a sea otter on the top. Hey, it is. What's a sea otter? Oh, Squidgy, they're super playful and so cute. And they love to play in the water. What was that? A baby sea otter. Oh, look at him. Hey, let's play together. Yeah. Oh, you want to try? Sure, here. Another sea otter. That must be his mommy. What? You've been looking all over for your baby? Oh, she found us because of all the rattling. Well, you better keep it. You're such a good rattler. Squidgy, that's so nice of you. But I thought you really liked that rattle. Yeah, but the baby really loves it. And he is so cute. And the mommy will always know where he is with that rattle. Bye! Wow, it sure is dark in here. It's a good thing we've got you, George. Hello, Mr. Dragon? Wait a 
second, that's not a dragon. It's only a little bird. Don't worry, little fella. We'll get you out of here. Justin! Squidgy! Olive! I've been looking all over for you two, and we were looking for you. And this is our dragon. in the cave must have made it sound like a big dragon. Yeah, and we'd better get this fella back to his mommy. Behold, the dragon of the dark, dark cave. getting really tired of spaghetti and meatballs. But I was afraid to try new things. From now on, I'm coming here every birthday to try something new. Hooray for Olive! Justin! Gotta go, Olive. Thanks for everything. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Bye. Arrivederci. I don't need that. I like trying new things. Well, I'm gonna try something new, too. What? Stinky socks! Ew! <laughs> They're yours! Gross! <laughs> but what about all this water? Yeah, tulips don't like too much water. Don't worry. That windmill will pump all the water out. <gasps> but it's not turning! Let's go have a look. It's a big windmill. I wonder why it isn't turning. Maybe it just needs a little push. Okay, everyone. On three. One, two, three. Push! <laughs> it's really stuck. So how do we get this windmill unstuck? I don't know, but if you need me, I'll be resting on this pile of tulip bulbs. Squidgy, that's it! That bag is blocking the windmill. I'll get it. <gasps> the windmill's turning! And the water's draining away. Yeah! Yay! The tulips are happy! Come on, everyone. I bet we can still make it to the tulip festival. It's perfect. It's my favorite. Squidgy, I think this is the best castle we've ever made. Mm -hmm. Justin, Sammy's mom just called. He's on his way over. Okay. Sammy's coming over? Uh-huh. Remember the last time we played castle? He bent the flagpole. And he knocked the tower over. He broke a castle into a bajillion pieces. Well, we're not going to let that happen this time. What are we going to do, Justin? Hmm. We are going to be knights. Yeah, brave knights. Brave knights who are protecting our castle. I sure do. I'm a squire. That's a knight in training. We you want to be nice too. Then we'd better go meet the king. Follow me. Wow, I've never seen such a round table before. This is where the knights of the round table used to sit. <laughs> but they're gone now, and there's no one to protect Camelot. Justin, Squidgy, this is the king. Pleased to meet you, Your Majesty. We'd like to become knights at the round table, sir. Yeah! Right. <laughs> As king of Camelot, <laughs> I hereby dub you 
the new knights of the round table. Good luck, knights. Hey, I'll all right, we're knights. Oh, uh, yeah. So, if we're the new knights of the round table, what happened to the old ones? They all ran away because they're scared. Just like the king. But why? What are they scared of? The bumbling knight. The, the bumbling knight? He's been terrorizing the whole kingdom. Ah! That's him now. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> there he is, the bumbling knight. <laughs> Look at him bumble. My cookie card has crumbled. I need help. Oh, the bumbling knight. Yeah, he's really bumbly. Oh, dear. I've locked myself in the tower. I'm okay. The bumbling knight's been wrecking things all over the place. And now he's bumbling towards the castle. Quick, let's raise the drawbridge. <laughs> Start acting like real knights. Today's the day, Squidgy. I'm climbing to the top. Are you coming? I want to, but I've never been that high before. Come on, Squidgy. It's not so hard. Watch. I can see everything from up here. Wow, you're really high up, Justin. I am an expert climber. I can climb anything, and so can you, Squidgy. I can? Anything? Anything. Even a giant, gigantic, enormous, super huge mountain! Come on, let's climb! Okay, Justin, I'm with you! Look at those mountains! <gasps> Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Olive! Welcome to the German Alps! Squidgy! Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, you're sure good at hide-and-seek, Justin. It's easy to find you because you're bright and yellow. Honey, is this everything for the charity box? I don't want to forget anything before I take it away. Hey, Squidgy, let's sneak up on Mom and Dad and surprise them. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's everything. Do you have any laundry? Oh, don't forget about Moo Moo Bear. <laughs> right, can't forget about him. <gasps> Moo Moo Bear! Mom and Dad are taking Moo Moo Bear away in the charity box. Where's he going? He's not going anywhere, Squidgy. Come on. done decorating, we can... Oh, I'd better get that. Mm, triple fudge, extra fluffy cupcakes. <gasps> With sprinkles? Can I have one please, please, please? <laughs> Nuh-uh. We have to finish decorating all of them first. All of them? But there are so many. What if we were real bakers, Squidgy? Then we'd be able to decorate lots of cupcakes. More than this pile? Way more. Enough to fill this whole table? Enough to fill this whole room! <gasps> that would be awesome! <laughs> Look at all these cupcakes! Bonjour, Justin. Bonjour, Squidward. 
Squidgy. Olive! Welcome to Lyon, a small town in France. This is Pierre's patisserie. Patisserie? Uh, what? Patisserie. It's a French bakery. And I work here. I make cupcakes. You make cupcakes? I do. And my boss, Pierre, is the best cupcake maker in town. Come on, I'll introduce you to him. Bonjour, Pierre. I'd like you to meet my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Hi. Hello. Ha-ha, <laughs> bonjour, my friends. Welcome to Pierre's Patisserie. We have Eclair's croissants, little itsy bitsy tarts, and cupcakes. Mwah! Cupcakes? Did you make all these cupcakes, Pierre? Ha, may we? I bake the cupcakes, and Olive, she decorates the cupcakes. Olive is the best cupcake decorator in all of France. Merci, Pierre. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, sorry I'm late. <clears throat> I now present to you the Eiffel Tower! <laughs> People of Paris! <laughs> the Eiffel Tower was built by many people working together as a team. And today, my friends Justin, Squeegee, and Olive have shown me that teamwork always gets the job done. Justin! Come on, Squidge. We'd better go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Mayor Maurice. Bye! Au revoir! Au revoir. Goodbye! Goodbye. Au revoir! Time to wash up for dinner, Justin. I'll be right in! I've got an idea. If we stand on this box, we can get closer to the balloon. I can reach it, but I'll float away again. It's okay. I'll hold on to you. All right. Uh, I gotcha! You did it, Squidgy! No. We did it! Yes! This teamwork thing really works! Mm -hmm. Can I hold the balloon now? <laughs> you know what, Squidgy? Why don't we hold it together? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Justin! Isn't it a bit cold for swimming? I'm not going swimming. I'm getting ready for dinner. Dinner? Uh-huh. This mask is for protection. We're having broccoli. Hmm, what's so bad about broccoli? Think of the stinkiest thing ever. Hmm, stinky socks. Now imagine a gazillion stinky socks. <laughs> well, broccoli is even stinkier than that. Ew, and you've eaten it? Well, no. Would you? <laughs> If I did the cooking, I'd never make broccoli, ever. What would you cook, Justin? Hmm. Well, <gasps> pizza. Pizza for sure. <gasps> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Pizza! Or spaghetti. Yummy. Spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> meatballs! Yeah! <laughs> It smells so yummy. It is yummy. <gasps> Olive! Benvenuto! Welcome to Venice. Hmm, Venice? Venice, famous for its canals, cathedrals, and cooking. Mm. Try this. No thanks. I don't like trying new things. <gasps> Oh, delicious! <laughs> I hope the princess likes it, too. Princess? Yes. Princess Sophia is coming here tonight for her birthday. Wow! What are you going to make for a princess? I'm not sure, but I've got everything I need for a royal feast. But not that broccoli. Hmm? 
But broccoli is delicious. <laughs> it's worse than smelly socks. <laughs> You've eaten smelly socks? Yes, but only when... So what are these animals, Olive? A bear, a sea otter, and a raven. I've seen them on totem poles before. Hmm. I get it. We have to find totem poles with these animals on them. Hey! I see a bear pole! That's the first animal in the box. Cool. Let's go. There it is. Huh. I don't see any parties from here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, a real bear. It looks like she's really itchy. She has burrs stuck to her fur. Let's go help her. Hi there, Miss Bear. We can help you. <coughs> if you could just hold still for a sec. Ouch! These burrs are sharp. How can we get them off? <coughs> yeah, your fur could use a brushing. Too bad we don't have a brush. Wait a second. My comb! There we go. <laughs> wow, that comb really came in handy. I know. I just love it. <laughs> I think the bear loves your comb, too. Here, why don't you keep it? Uh. That's so pretty. Oh, that's so you. <laughs> Olive, that comb was a gift to you. I know, but the bear needs it more than me. And besides, she's so happy. Uh. I know, I never know what to do with my hair, either. <laughs> Looking good, Miss Bear. Uh. She said you're looking good in that hat, Justin. Thanks. The wolf chief gave it to me. <laughs> Way to go, Olive. Keep it up. <laughs> um, Justin? What's wrong? How do I get around this overhang? I don't know what to do. Try stretching your arm straight above your head. There's a little crack above your hand. Up. Now see that rock next to your knee? Reach around that rock with your foot. I made it! Yay, Olive! I knew you could do it! All right, we're coming up now. Whew, what a climb. We are so high up now. Brr, it's chilly up here. We need our winter gear, Squidgy. You got it. Hats and scarves for everyone. I feel toasty already. Gretel! How did she get way up there? Goats are good climbers, but I've never climbed anything like that before. It goes straight up. Hmm. I know just the thing. I'll lasso that rock up there. So close! Maybe try making the loop bigger. Good idea. <laughs> this rope feels stuck on something. <laughs> Justin, look behind you. There's nothing behind me. <laughs> huh? Hi, Justin! <laughs> Hi, Squidgy! <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> I know how we'll get Gretel. Okay. Pull! Don't worry, Gretel. We are coming to get you. Come here, Gretel. Come on. <laughs> Olive, she won't come to me. Gretel's really shy with Strangers. Sorry, Gretel. I don't want to scare you. <laughs> Lower me down, Olive. Olive, Gretel's too shy to let me get her down. You're the only one she trusts. But she's so high up. I don't know if I can do it. Olive, you thought climbing this mountain would be hard, but you got past those big rocks. Yeah, and it was fun, too. And when we got to the tricky part, you thought you couldn't do it, but you did. I did do it, and it felt really good. 
Now we're so close to Gretel. And you're the only one who can get her down. I know, but... That's really high, Justin. <laughs> but I'm a goat herder. And a goat herder takes care of her goats. Yeah! Wow! Oh, nice hat, Justin. You have a nice hat too, Squidgy. Oh, I do? <laughs> I do! Those are musketeer hats. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the French countryside. Hey! You have a musketeer hat too! We're all musketeers. We're the Queen's special helpers. How do you know when the Queen needs help? Olive! I need your help! Bonjour, Your Royal Highness. Musketeers Justin, Squidgy, and I are at your service. What can we help you with, Your Highness? My darling, precious Princess Fifi is... missing. A princess? She's missing? What can we do? This sounds like a rescue. We musketeers can help. Right? Right! What does Princess Fifi look like? Ah, she has shimmery golden hair and a sparkly diamond necklace around her neck. Oh, she sounds beautiful. Do you know where she might have gone? Well, it is cookie day at the market and my darling precious Princess Fifi just loves her special royal cookies. Cookies. The market. Got it. Don't worry, your royal highness. We'll rescue the princess and bring her back safe and sound. To the rescue! First, we have to do the musketeer salute. When I say, all for one, you say, and one for all. Got it? Got, Got it. it! All for one. And one for all! And you, my royal musketeers, I know you will not fail. Ah, Princess Vivi, where are you? Our cupcakes are magnifique! They certainly are! <laughs> <laughs> Mademoiselle Anne-Marie! Bonjour! Anne-Marie is Pierre's favorite customer. Oh, you look lovely today. You are like the most delicious cupcake ever made. <laughs> Ew! What can we make for you today, Mademoiselle? I must have 100 of your very best cupcakes. 100? Is that too many? Oh, no, 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 no. There, there is no such thing as too many cupcakes. Especially for you. Ooh, la la. Oh, magnifique. I will be back soon to pick them up. Au revoir. Bye bye. Um, Pierre? Do you really think we can make 100 cupcakes? <laughs> what? We, of course we can. We must. But I don't know how I can decorate 100 cupcakes. We can help you, Olive. Yeah, we love decorating the cupcakes. Excellent, Olive. Take them to the decorating table. Too sweet. <laughs> Ready to get wet, Justin? Ready. Oh, well, that's a good idea, Justin. It sure is hot out. Hi, Mom. I'm going to turn the water all the way up and get soaking wet. Well, you have fun. Just be nice to my tulips. They don't like too much water. OK, Mom. I will. Great. Have a blast. <gasps> Did you hear that, Justin? Your mom said have a blast. Yeah. Crank it up, Squidgy. Whoa! Look at all these tulips, Squidgy. Ooh, they're so orangey. Orange is my favorite color. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Holland, the land of tulips. Wow. Are all of these your tulips, Olive? You bet. I'm a tulip farmer. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Olive! Hi, Hans. Hi, Franz. Meet my friends. 
Justin and Squidgy. Hi. Hello. Olive, your tulips are so lovely. They are splendidly orange. <laughs> Say, are you all going to the tulip festival? Yeah, you should enter your flowers in a tulip contest. <laughs> a tulip contest? I'd bet you win, Olive. Oh, yeah. It, it's not too late to enter. Well, my tulips are extra orange this year. We can help you, Olive. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Splendid. We'll see you all at the Tulip Festival, yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> see you at the festival. I've never driven a gondola before. It's fun! Which way is Marcello's store, Olive? Well, Marcello doesn't have an actual store. He has a cart that he wheels around. So how do we find him? We have to listen. Listen? Marcello is always singing. We'll follow his voice. <gasps> Shh! Meatball. That's I him! Marcello's tasty meatballs. Who want a meatball? I got a meatball. Marcello's tasty meatballs. Venice is full of canals, and a gondola is the best way to get around. Oh! <laughs> He's fast! That's a spicy meatball. You want a meatball? He turned up meatball. that way! Follow those meatballs! Meatball. I got a meatball, big and small. You want a meatball? I got them all! Marcello's tasty meatballs. I got a meatball, big and small. You want a meatball? I got them all! Marcello's tasty meatballs! Chef Olive, buongiorno! Hello! Hi, Marcello. We need your best meatballs. Magnifico! I got lots of meatballs. I got the big, I got the small, I got the hot, and not hot, I got the spicy, no spicy, tasty, beautiful. Just the regular ones, please. Grazie, Marcello. You're welcome, my friends. Enjoy! Okay, back to the kitchen. And fast. <laughs> Look at that, Justin. Our charity box is almost full. Hey, Dad, why are we giving away Tiny? Well, you haven't played with Tiny since you were a little baby. But it's your toy, so it's really up to you, Justin. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me know what you want to do about Tiny later. Hey, Tiny! Long time no see! Where have you been? Squidgy, Dad thinks we should give Tiny away. What? No, -uh, no way! You're staying with us, Tiny! <laughs> Look at all this other cool stuff we're giving away. Ah, what a funny looking hat! That's not a hat, Squidgy. That's my toy canoe. Oh. It's a kind of boat. You sit in it like this, and you paddle like this. Hey, this is fun. Um, where are we going? We're going on a canoe trip. Wow, look at that house. It's so long. I wonder who lives there. I do. This is my longhouse. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Haida Gwaii Islands, home of many tribes. I'm chief of the Sun Tribe, and this is my tribe's totem pole. We're people who really like the sun. I love the sun, too! Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's the chief of the Wolf Tribe. He really likes wolves. Chief, these are my friends, Justin, and Squidgy. Hello. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. I have come to invite you all to my totem pole party. A totem pole party? Sounds like fun. Yes, it will be a howling good time. Howl! <laughs> <laughs> now to get to the party, you will need this totem box. Wow. These animals will guide you to the wolf tribe. These gifts are also for you. Olive, you have a beautiful spirit, so I give you this, a special comb. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Squidgy, in you, I sense a fun-loving spirit, 
So I give you this. A rattle. <laughs> and Justin, in you I sense a deep adventure spirit. And so I give this. A special Haida hat. Wow. Now take care of these gifts. They are very important for the totem pole party. Thank you, Chief. See you at the party. Oh! thought I'd do that. And I couldn't have done it without your help and encouragement, Justin. Me neither. I've never climbed that high before. I knew you both could do it. Well, it's getting late. I better call my goats home. Oh, oh, can I blow this time? Go for it, Squidgy. <gasps> My goats are so happy now. Thanks, Squidgy. Thanks, Justin. I'm glad we got Gretel home safely. Justin! And now it's my turn to go home. Bye, Olive. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Bye, Olive. Bye! So, Squidgy, do you want me to teach you how to climb? I think I'm ready now, Justin. Okay. Grab the blue bar and swing your legs over the green bar. Huh? Yeah. Then grab the yellow nub and pull yourself up. Uh. Look, Squidgy, you're doing it! <laughs> I am! I am! I'm climbing! We're kings of the mountain! Woohoo! <laughs> hey, you really can't see everything from up here, huh, Justin? Look, there's your house! And your school and the hockey rink. Oh! And the ice cream shop! <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Cookie Man! Ah, <laughs> bonjour! You've come for a cookie, haven't you? Well, no, we're actually... I have cookies of all kinds. All kinds? Oh, of course! Shortbread, lemon drop, oatmeal raisin, peanut butter, chocolate chip, chocolate chunks, and this! My latest creation, I call it the Cookie Royale! Cookie Royale! Have a taste! Hmm, ah. oh. interesting. Yes, it's tuna and oatmeal. Tuna and oatmeal? What princess would eat a tuna cookie? Oh, what an exciting taste combination! <laughs> oh, the oatmeal is sweet and chewy, and the tuna adds just the right amount of tang. I know! A princess Vivi has adventurous taste. I make these cookies just for her. So you've seen her? Bien sûr! She has the prettiest green eyes you've ever seen, and the teeny tiniest little feet. So cute. I mean, have you seen her today? Yes, yeah, she was just here. She was so happy with the cookie royale, she grabbed it and ran off. Did you see which way she went? Oh, um, uh, uh, that way. Hey, is that a cookie crumb? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's tuna and oatmeal. There's a whole trail of cookie crumbs. And they lead right down the road. That must be the way Princess Fifi went. Let's go. All for one. And, and one, one for all. all. Bye bye. I feel silly. We were scared of a little bird. But you and Squidgy thought it was a scary dragon and still went in to help me. That was brave. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess you were right. Not just brave, bravest of the brave. <laughs> Did someone call? <laughs> Sir Justin and Squidgy have taught us all a valuable lesson. Never be afraid to admit that you're afraid. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Justin! What I should have done before. Got it! Justin, dinner! Coming, Dad! Now we can finish this game after dinner. You bet! Sir Justin! <laughs> <laughs> right next to it. And there's his house. It's beautiful. Let's take her down. Ah, what's that? These are gargoyles, Squidgy. They're made of stone. They can't hurt you. Are you sure? Ah! Ah, he's got us. Hang on. See, Squidgy? Our balloon was caught. It's okay. Huh. There he is now. Bonjour, Mayor Maurice. Hello. Bonjour, Olive. Let's bring her down, Justin. Okay. How about right here? <gasps> no, 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 no. Not on my beautiful flowers. Hmm. Mr. Mayor? No, 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 no. Look out for the tree. Then I guess we'll have to land here. <gasps> no, 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 no. Mais pantalon. No, no, no. He says we can't land on his pants. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. There's not enough room to land. Ooh la la. But I will be late. Hmm. I've got an idea. Uh, Mr. Mayor, go up to your balcony. We'll pick you up there. Bunny day. <laughs> he says that's a good idea, Justin. I'm here. <laughs> Justin, Squidgy, meet Mayor Maurice. Hi, Mayor Maurice. Bonjour, Justin. Bonjour, Squidgy. Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. Bonjour. Climb aboard, Mayor Maurice. <laughs> Tout alors. You are too far away. Hang on. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> now we go, yes? To the Eiffel Tower. Drop a sandbag, Squidgy. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, it smells delicious. I'll bet these will be the best spaghetti and meatballs ever. <clears throat> Since it's your birthday, we made extra special meatballs. Hmm. Extra special? But they're a green. Uh, that's because they're, um, they're made of broccoli. Oh, no, no, per favore. I hear broccoli is worse than stinky socks. Broccoli's not so bad. It's actually... <gasps> Delicious! Wow! These are great! <laughs> Yummy. Oh, delicious! Not like stinky socks at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I'll try just a teeny tiny little bite.
The dike is leaking. Quick, we need to find something to stop the water. Yeah, stop the water. Hans and Franz's tulips. Cool. I like the blue ones. Oh, I like the yellow ones. Wait, stop. <laughs> Something's wrong. Oh, no. These tulips are all droopy. You're right. There's too much water in this field. We have to do something. But we need to get your tulips to the festival. I really do want to win the contest, but Hans and Franz's tulips are in danger. Oh. Hmm. You know what? You're right, Olive. We should help Hans and Franz. Yeah, let's save these tulips. Okay. Here, put these on, Justin. Cool shoes. These are called clogs. They're like rain boots, only they're made of wood. <laughs> Squidgy. <laughs> <laughs> Squidgy, you found the problem. There's a hole in the dike. And it's spilling water in Hans and Franz's tulip field. We've got to plug this leak somehow. I can do that. There. <laughs> now you're using your head. Um, but you can't stay like that forever. Oh, huh? uh, yeah. Don't worry, Squidgy. We'll find something else to plug it with. Okay. Hey! <laughs> now, what can we use to plug the leak? Hmm. There's nothing here except for this old bag of onions. Actually, these are tulip bulbs. Tulip bulbs? We plant them in the ground and they become tulips. Hmm. Hold on. I've got an idea. Look what we found! Onions! My favorite! <laughs> Sorry, Squidgy. These are tulip bulbs. And they're perfect for plugging these holes. There. No more leaks. It's... it's stuck! Oh, hey, what's this? Oh! <laughs> Sigmund the Squire? Uh, hi everyone. You're the Squire? But why are you wearing armor? I wanted to be a real knight, so I was trying it on and I got stuck. But we saw you terrorizing the kingdom all morning. You smashed up the cookie cart. Yeah, and you almost burned the castle down with the hot dog maker. No, 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 you, you don't understand. I wasn't trying to terrorize anybody. I wanted to help the cookie man with his cart, and I thought the hot dog maker was a dragon. With that armor on, I was so clumsy that I just made a mess of everything. I'm sorry. So all along, you were just trying to help people? And you bravely attacked what you thought was a dragon? Hmm, and as it turns out, you've been very polite. Really does seem like Sigmund has what it takes to protect the castle. Hmm, well, what do you think, Your Majesty? You've learned well, Sigmund the Squire. I hereby dub you a Knight of the Round Table. I'm a knight! Yay! Whoops. Sorry. Um, maybe we should get you some armor that fits you a little better so you don't scare everyone. And also wreck everything. <laughs> <laughs> very much, very much so. Justin! Oh, that's my mom. Gotta go. Bye, Olive. Bye, everyone. See you later, Justin. So long, Squidgy. Goodbye, brave knights. Bye. Yes, bye, knights. And oh, that's us. Oh, we're the brave knights. Bye. Are you going to ask Sammy to leave, Justin? No. Remember, knights have to be brave and polite. Hey, Justin. Hey, Sammy. Want to help me protect the castle? We can be knights. Yeah! <laughs> Hold on. Being a knight means being brave, being polite, and helping others. I, Sir Sammy, promise to be all of those things. Great. 
Could you also maybe be a little more careful around the castle? I don't want it to fall down. You got it, Justin. All right, where to next? The raven totem pole. It's the last one. Hmm. <gasps> there it is, in the forest. Let's go. Wow! These trees are ginormous. Even the crows are huge. <laughs> Those aren't crows, Squidgy. They're ravens. What? The ravens say their nest fell apart. Oh, no. That means they won't have a place to sleep tonight. We'll help you build a new nest. How, Justin? It'll take too long. That's a big pile of branches. Huh. I guess you're right. Hey. I know something that would work. Your hat. That would make a perfect nest. But are you sure? Yeah, Justin, that hat was a gift. Yeah, but these ravens need it more than I do. They say thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Hey, that's the wolf chief. We are almost at the totem party. Sounds like he's over there. Let's go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bonjour. Mademoiselle Anori! <laughs> Lovely to see you again! Merci, Pierre! Now, how are my lovely little cupcakes coming along? Everything is fantastic! Magnifique! Then I shall return in one hour! Bye bye! One hour? Zoot alors! Get ready, mes amis! Time to go fast! <laughs> I have to go and get the boxes for the cupcakes. Is everything okay? Uh, I think so. Excellent. If you need to stop, just pull the red lever, yes? Red lever to stop. Got it. Be right back. Olive, you missed one. Oops, can you get that squidgy? Gotcha! <laughs> Cupcake emergency! Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Can you stop the machine, Justin? On it! <laughs> Help! Whoa! Whoa! Gotcha! My hero! My cupcakes! They're still coming! Here, Squidgy, take these! Oh, 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 oh. Olive, catch! Got it! Here comes some more. <laughs> Can you reach the lever, Justin? Whoa! I can almost reach it. You can do it, Justin. Too many cupcakes! Wait a sec. <laughs> yes! I found Princess Fifi! Yay! We, we did, did it. it! Wait a minute. How are we going to get her down? Oh, I can just carry her. You can? Sure. Meet Princess Fifi! Princess Fifi is a kitty cat! Wow, I thought we were looking for a real princess. <laughs> I'm glad she's safe, but I wonder where that beast is. <gasps> B beast Oh, you little beast. Why must you always chase Princess Fifi around, huh? The beast? Is, is it a puppy? Oh, Princess Fifi, there you are. Bonjour, bonjour! Anyone for cookies? 
<rire> Princesse Pipi, how about some more cookie royal, hein? Oh, I want peanut butter. Chocolate chunk for me. Oh, oh, I'll have lemon drop and oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip. And uh, do you have any white chocolate macadamia nut? <laughs> Oh, thank you, my royal musketeers. You found my little princess. It's so funny. We thought that Princess Fifi was a real princess, not a cat. Yeah, and the beast turned out to be a cute little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who knew? I guess things aren't always what they seem at first. We would have never figured it out if we didn't work together. All for one, and one for all! Justin! There's my mom. I'd better go. Merci, Justin. No problem, Your Highness. We were happy to rescue the princess. Bye! Bye! Goodbye! Bye-bye, salut, adieu! Bye, everyone! Mom! Dad, wait! You can't! Can't what, son? You can't put Moo Moo Bear in the charity box. Moo Moo Bear in the charity box? We'd never do that. No, but we would put him in the laundry. He needs a wash. Hmm, Moo Moo, you didn't need to be rescued after all. Again! <laughs> if I win this time, I'm the Marvel Champion. Ready? Go! Go, 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 go! Go no. faster! <laughs> doesn't count. I lost my marble. Let's go again. Sure, go get your marble. But it went in the closet. <gasps> uh, I don't feel like playing anymore. But you have to get it. Uh, we have to finish the game before dinner. You could get it. You're right there. No. I'm afraid. Aren't you? It's it's so dark in there. Afraid? I'm not scared of anything. Really? Wow. I'm scared of lots of things. Snakes, sharks, bears, spiders, pointy pencils. Well, not me. I don't care if it's dark in there. You must be pretty brave. I am brave. Brave like a knight. <laughs> Like a knight that lives in a castle? You bet! A big castle! Cool! I'm a knight! Wow! Justin! Squidgy! Over here! Hi, Olive! Hi, Olive! Welcome to merry old England. So what's all this stuff? Well, I'm a squire. That's a knight's helper. And this is everything I need to help my knight. <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> Can I be Justin's helper? Can I? Can I? Sure. Here, I'll give you some of Sir Edmund's stuff. He won't mind. Here. <sighs> <gasps> it's okay. I'm good. I'm good. So who's Sir Edmund? Why, he's the bravest knight in merry old England. Just like me, huh? Yes. Me thinks you two should meet. You thinks? Me thinks so, too. Let's hurry! Look! The water is all gone! <laughs> Someone saved our tulips! But who? <gasps> Look! An orange tulip! It's very orangey, yeah? Yeah. 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 Hmm. There's only one farmer who grows on tulips. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Tulip Festival, everybody. We will soon present the prize for most colorful tulips. Sounds like we're not too late. Let's get our tulips. I'll get them. Hey, where'd they all go? Oh, no. They must have fallen out along the way. We can't win with just one tulip. We can't? But this is the orangiest orange tulip ever. Hmm. 
Ooh, what yellowy yellow tulips. <gasps> and these blue tulips are just splendid. Hmm, now which one to choose? Ah, yellow. No, no, blue. No, 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 yellow. No, blue. Yellow, no, blue. No, 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 yellow. No, no, blue. Wait, there's one more tulip. Ooh, ooh, now this is the orangiest orange tulip I've ever seen. But I'm afraid you need more than a single tulip. <gasps> hmm. Hey, look! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. The grand prize goes to this wonderful bouquet of blue, yellow, and orange tulips. Oh, Hans, I am so happy. Yeah, me too. Thanks for giving us your tulips, Franz and Hans. No, thank you. You saved our tulips, so we wanted to do something nice for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> it's nice being nice. It sure is, Squidgy. Justin! That's my mom. It's time to go home. Bye, Olive. Bye, everyone. Darn, goodbye. Goodbye. are getting wet. Uh, Squidgy, turn off the water. Oh, I thought you were playing with the sprinkler. I turned it off because I didn't want to get your tulips wet. Why, thank you, Justin. That's very nice of you. It's nice being nice. <gasps> I have an idea. I'll just bring these inside. That way you can keep playing. Nice! Have fun. Okay, Squidgy. Let her rip. Okay. <laughs> well, how is a knight supposed to act? I'm glad you asked, Justin. A knight of the round table should be brave, be polite, and help others. Well, I am brave. Oh, yes, he is. And polite, too. Oh, why, thank you, Squidgy. Don't mention it, Justin. Great. And I just know we all love helping others. Come on, knights! For Camelot! Humbling knight, I am Sir Justin. Stop wrecking Camelot! Ooh, how brave! <laughs> it's not working! We've got to help the king and protect the castle, Justin. Hmm, maybe I wasn't polite enough. Mr. Bumbling Knight, as knights of the round table, we would appreciate it if you could please stop wrecking Camelot! I think you did it, Justin. He's waving goodbye. The king will be so pleased. Thank you, Mr. Bumbley. Have a nice day. Bye. The Bumbling Knight is gone. Yay! something again. What if it's a fire-breathing monster, though? Well, if we really want to protect the castle, we've got to be brave. Come on, Knights of the Round Table, let's go check it out. The sound was coming from this way. Maker. That's right. Get your hot dog. Oh, I love hot dogs. I'll have one well done. Squidgy, remember, be polite. Oh, sorry. Please. One well done dog coming up. Here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, the bubbling knight. <laughs> What's he doing? Maybe he just really likes hot dogs. Our help. What a mess! Where's the king? Down here! What are you doing down there? The bumbling knight's destroying the castle! 
You can come out now, Your Majesty. I think he's gone. Oh. Oh. He's coming back! He's coming closer! Shh. Oh. 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 Whoa! Oh, Wait. Oh. Why doesn't he like chairs? He's going to break all of them. I'm going to stop him once and for all. But you don't know what he might do. Don't worry. Knights have to be brave, remember? Stop right there, Bumbling Knight! <coughs> Bumbling Knight, you're wrecking the whole castle. So please stop it right now! <coughs> to get his helmet off. Maybe it's stuck. <laughs> it sounds like he's crying. Oh, you defeated the bubbling knight! <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe we haven't been as knightly as we could be. But Justin, we've been telling him to leave really politely. Yeah, and we've been really brave. And we've been helping everybody in the kingdom. Yes, you're right. But there's one person we haven't been helping. Bumbling Knight, do you need a hand with your helmet? <laughs> that is the most super humongous horn I've ever seen. And it's a really, really big horn. I use it to call my goats home. I'm a goat herder. Meet Heidi, <laughs> Olaf, Ludwig, <laughs> Hansel, and Gretel. Gretel? Gretel! 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 That's her! Whoa! That's a really, really high mountain! She's climbed the Zugspitze. The what? The tallest mountain in Germany. Then we'll just climb up after her. Come on, Olive. Olive? What's wrong? I've never climbed that mountain before. It's really high. It's okay, Olive. I'm an expert climber. I'll help you go get Gretel. Um, I want to help Gretel too, but that mountain's really, really big, and I'm really, really small. Hey, Squidgy, I need some help with my mountain climbing gear. Why don't you climb into my backpack? Really? Okay. <laughs> Whenever you need something, just ask. Thanks, Squidgy. So, Olive, are you ready to climb that mountain? I do need to get Gretel back home before it gets dark. <laughs> A goat herder takes care of her goats. I'm ready, Justin. All right, let's go get Gretel! To decorate cupcakes, you need a decorating kit. First is the icing. Here's one for you. And one for you. Cool. Next, everybody gets whipped cream. Ooh. And finally, we each get our very own bowl of... <laughs> Sprinkles! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need all of this for 100 cupcakes. We better get started. Yeah! Three cupcakes, please! Three cupcakes for Olive! Ooh. Okay, what do we do first, Olive? Let's start with the icing. Nice and even. Icing is easy. Yummy! I love icing! Can I lick this now? Not now, Squidgy. We have to keep decorating. Uh. Now, the whipped cream. Not too little and not too much. This is fun! Yum! And the pièce de résistance. Please be sprinkles, please be sprinkles, please be sprinkles! Sprinkles! Yes! <laughs> Perfect! See, that wasn't too hard. Pierre! More cupcakes, please! Ooh la la! Here they come! <laughs> I present
present to thee, Sir Edmund the Fearless. Tis true, as my squire says, I am fearless and your humble servant. Uh, This is where you introduce your knight. <gasps> okay! Who's my knight? Uh, Justin? Oh, yeah! <clears throat> Lords and ladies, this is Justin! He's my best pal, and he's not scared of anything. Not scared of anything? What about spiders? Mm. No. And snakes? No way. Hmm, bats. Everyone's scared of bats. Not me. Oh. Ooh. Mm hmm. So I guess you wouldn't be afraid of dragons? <gasps> I don't know. I've never seen a dragon, but they're just like big lizards. And everyone likes lizards, right? I'm impressed, but it matters not. A dragon wouldn't dare show his snout in these parts. Not with me around. What was that? The, that's the d dragon that is living in the very, very dark cave. D -d 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 dragon? Dark cave? Oh, my, my, look at the time. I'm late for tea with Mumsy. She simply hates it when I'm late. Good luck, Sir Justin. Uh, wait, Sir Edmund, come back. Oh. <sighs> Three cheers for Sir Justin the Brave! Hooray! So, uh, how dark is this very, very dark cave? Pretty dark. I know the way. Follow me. I have never seen such a view of Paris. C'est si belle! So beautiful! <laughs> He really is beautiful. Thank you, Olive. Without your balloon, I could never see my city in such a way. You're welcome, Mayor Maurice. Glad we could help. Hey, there's the Eiffel Tower. Ah, we are here. And there's a spot for us to land. Let's take her down. <laughs> I present to you the mayor of Paris. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Olive! How do I stop this balloon from going up? He's floating away! Oh no! Pull the ropes, Mayor Maurice! Huh? Huh? What did you say? He can't hear us. He's too high now. Quick! Let's follow him up the tower. Thank you, thank you. Now it is time for my speech. But how am I to get down? That's easy peasy. See those two ropes above your head? Yes, yes, I see them. Just pull both of them at the same time. Like this? Whoa! Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> Mayor Maurice is on his way down. Let's go meet him at the bottom. <laughs> again! Let's do it again! <laughs> Hello, Chief! We're here! Hi! You've brought the totem box. Um, Chief, uh, there's something we should tell you. I see the box is empty. There are no gifts. There was a poor bear. Uh, we met this really cute sea otter. Um, well, there was a family of ravens, and I guess what we're trying to say is we gave everything away. <laughs> That's wonderful. Huh? But didn't you say those gifts were important? Yes, and the feeling you get when you share with others is the greatest gift of all. You know what? It did feel good to share those gifts. The ravens were so grateful. And the sea otter loved his rattle. And the bear looked marvelous. Well, that deserves an ow! Oh. Oh. Now come with me. I have a surprise for you. Hey, look! Everyone's here! Your friends have all come to thank you and to help us unwrap our new totem pole. Awesome! Everyone, please take a rope. Now pull! Uh, wow! Hey, look! It's a wolf! And a raven! Oh, and a sea otter! And there's a bear! And don't forget Olive, Squidgy, and Justin. Ow! Ow! Oh. Justin! That's my dad. I'd better go. Bye, everybody! Bye! Bye! Goodbye, Justin. Goodbye, Squidgy. Ow! So, Justin, what are you gonna do about Tiny? Tiny? I know you're gonna make some little kid really, really happy. So, into the charity box you go. Bye, Tiny. Don't lose that squeak. Dad, our charity box is ready to go. Squidgy, can you please pass me some water? Uh, nope. No. Nope. Aha! Here you go. Thanks. Hey, Justin, why do you need a hat and a scarf? It's summer. Here in the mountains, the higher up you go, the colder it gets. Do you see that white stuff up there? Yeah, what is that? It's snow, Squidgy. <gasps> snow day! We can go tobogganing! Or we can make snow angels! Oh, or a snowman! And we can eat snow cones! Oh, I love snow days! <laughs> Me too, Squidgy. But we've got a job to do. We've got to go get Gretel. Right! Are you doing okay, Squidgy? Yeah, it's really cozy in here. Woohoo! This is fun! Hey, wait up! You're doing great, Olive. I still can't believe we've gone so far already. I knew you could do it. Now, are you ready for this? I'm not sure. It looks kind of impossible. Don't worry, Olive. I'll give you instructions. Hey, it's Gretel! Gretel's waiting for us, Olive. You can do this. You're right. I can do this. I need to get Gretel. I'm ready. Hello. 
we are the Three Musketeers. And we are looking for Princess Fifi. Oh, Princess Fifi? Uh, you just miss her. Really? Where did she go? I'm afraid to say that beast of mine chased her off again. Oh, no! A beast? Chasing a princess? Oh, yes. That beast just loves to chase Princess Vivi. We have to find her. Which way did she go? Well, I saw them run off that way, down the road. Oh, just follow the crumbs. Come on, musketeers. I'm sure they'll be back soon. After all, it is almost dinner time for my little beastie. The trail of crumbs ends here. Look! The beast must have taken the princess to the tower. We have to do something. Come on, to the rescue! Excuse me, we're looking for the princess. What? Princess Fifi is in this tower? We have to rescue her. <clears throat> that beast must have locked her inside. Oh no! Now what do we do? Hey, there's a window. We're going to need to get up there to rescue the princess. All right, musketeers, let's do this together. All for one and one for all. Olive, you get on my shoulders. Right. Up you go, Squidgy. Whoa. We're coming to get you. Okay, everyone. Stretch! Princess Fifi? Hey, everybody! I found Princess Fifi! Yay! We, we did, did it! it! Uh... Aha! I have the boxes! Is something wrong? We couldn't keep up with the machine. How are we going to finish in time? Can you help us, Pierre? Sorry, mes amis. I can bake, but I am a horrible decorator. It isn't that hard, Pierre. Watch. We start with the icing first. Next is the whipped cream. And finally, sprinkles! Well, that is one good-looking cupcake. It was easy, too. All I had to do was the icing. And all I had to do was the whipped cream. And I got to do the sprinkles! Wait a minute. That's it! That's how we'll finish decorating all these cupcakes. Huh? Look. This is a really big job, but we can finish it if everyone does their own smaller jobs. Good idea. Mm -hmm. You can start with the icing, Justin. Okay. And you can be in charge of the whipped cream. Got it. Oh, oh! And I'll sprinkle the sprinkles. And I will take care of the boxes. I'm really good at that, yes. Let's get decorating! <laughs> Parfait! That is the last cupcake. Bonjour, my little darlings. I am here for my cupcakes. Oh, my little cream puff. Here they are. Voila. Oh, they are absolutely fantastic and merveilleux. Merci, Pierre. Oh, oh, oh mademoiselle. You. <coughs> Please, thank my friends. We all work together. Oh, thank you, everyone. You're, You're welcome. welcome. And here is one last special cupcake. I made one for you, mon petit chou. <gasps> you are the best cupcake makers in all of France. Hooray! Hey! Justin! That's Mom. Gotta go. Bye, everyone. Bye, Justin. Bye.
Bye, Squidgy. Thanks for everything. Au revoir! Bye! Hey, Mom, what do you think? Wow, Justin, these cupcakes look amazing. Maybe you'd better try just one. Really? Thanks, Mom. Here you go, Squidgy. Yes! <laughs> and why don't you take this, too? Yummy! <laughs> Where are we? This is the forest of the glowing worms. <gasps> oh, look. He's so cute. Can we keep him? I'm gonna call him George. Aw, he's cute, Squidgy, but we've got to get to the very, very dark cave. Okay. I'll be back, George, okay? <sighs> Bye, George. Here's the very, very dark cave. We should hear the dragon now. I don't hear anything. Hmm, maybe the dragon left. Mr. Dragon? Hello? Hello? <laughs> ah! Ah! He, he's still in there. How am I going to even find the dragon? It's too dark in there. Hey, what about George? He could light up the cave for us. Hmm, maybe that could work. Oh, come on! Hey, George! Here we come! Wait! I have a lantern in here! Somewhere. I must have left it back at the tent. Huh. Um, I don't know if George is bright enough. I still can't go into that cave. Okay, then we can get some more. Look, George has lots of friends. I'm sorry, Squidgy. The real reason I can't go into that cave is... I'm not brave, Sir Justin. I'm scared, Justin. So scared of the dark, Justin. Oh. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm scared of the dark, too. Hmm. Come on. I gotta tell Olive. Hey! Where's Olive? <gasps> oh, no! There's her sack! She must have gone into the cave by herself. We have to go get her. We do? But what about the dark? We've got George. Olive is our friend, and she's in there with the dragon all alone. She needs us, Squidgy. Oh, as long as we stay close. You got it. Justin, can I hold it? Sure. <laughs> hey, Justin, I found your old tennis ball. And I see your desk, your pajamas. Oh, and you forgot to make your bed. <laughs> Calm down, Squidgy. Whoa! How do I stop this balloon from going up? I don't know. Just let go and I'll catch you. Uh... Gotcha. <laughs> That was fun. Let's do it again. Sure, but it looks like it's stuck up there in the tree. There has to be a way to get it down. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I wanted to go for another balloon ride. Yeah. It'd be cool to look at everything from way up high. We could see the whole town from up there. Maybe even the whole world. Justin, hi, Squidgy. Olive! Welcome to France. Wow, France. This is amazing. So where are we going, Olive? To Paris. We're going to the opening of the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? Yes, the tallest building in France. Wow! Let's go. Sure, but first we need to pick up the mayor. He lives near the big church. Steer us towards the city, please, Justin. Sure. 
Is it hard to fly this balloon, Olive? It's easy. Here, just try pulling on these ropes. That rope makes us go to the left. And this rope makes us go to the right. Like this? You got it. And to go down, you pull both at the same time. Whee! Hey, what are all these bags for? <laughs> and why are they so heavy? Those are full of sand, Squidgy. Without them, the balloon would keep floating up. Huh? Uh-oh, we're heading straight for those birds. We need to go up. Not a problem. One sandbank should do it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tiny cow down there. <laughs> it's not tiny, Squidge. It's just very far away. Hold it steady, Squidge. Okay. Uh, um, uh oh. Uh, uh, whoa. 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 Help! <gasps> My meatballs! Oh, no. What are we going to do now? That was the only food she likes. <sighs> Don't worry, Olive. We'll help you cook the best birthday dinner ever. Right, Squidgy? Right! We've got spaghetti. Hmm, I think Olive needs some cheering up. I think you're right. Hey, I got an idea. Hey, Olive! Look at my chef set! Your hat! Come on, I have an idea. The world's first spaghetti and broccoli balls. <laughs> They're kind of... Uh... Green. <laughs> huh? Wow, they do smell good. But will the princess like them? You'll soon find out. She's here. 